In this episode, we set sail once again on Kadoa for fresh adventures. We put the all new electric outboards through their paces before venturing off into the sea in search of our own food. At which point Carly and I happened to discover the most delicious fish recipe that either one of us had ever tried. Is it good? Carly is just doing a little bit of passage planning to hopefully safely get us out of here and back to somewhere that can see out the weather that's coming our way. Now, a lot of you have asked about passage planning and what goes into it, and to give you some bullet points that we think about, it's can we get Hank to shore and have a good ledge tracks for him so any sort of journey he's gonna do will be fine, he won't need the toilet hopefully whilst we're underway. What are the tides doing? Are they gonna be on our side? And are we gonna arrive in our new destination whilst there's still some daylight so we can see where we're dropping the anchor? And once again, get Hank to shore so he can finish his day all weed and booed. So uh, let's let's go check with the captain and see what she's managed to figure out. See how early I have to get up in the morning. From high water Dover minus six. High water Dover is 218. I can see you number crunching and scribbling away with your gigantic giga brain figuring out <laughs> safe passage for all of us. So what 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 have you crunched? Come on, give me the good news. Uh, how long is Hank going to be on the boat for? What time does it mean I have to get up? Have we got tides on our side? What's it going to be? What's going on? Okay, so we are going to try and do the 12 hour passage back to the Helford. We can't have the tide with us the whole time, but it'd be um, good if we can get the tide with us around the Lizard. I think and that's also, the most important one, yeah. yeah, and also getting out of here because we have seen that wind over tide coming out of here is it not much rips, fun. It rips, doesn't it? It rips through here. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what time does this mean I'm going to need to get up? And take Hank in the morning. You do might my have duty. To get up at sunrise. We would like to have anchor up 8 a.m. Okay. out here. All right. So that means I need to be up at about six. Yes, please. There they are. That boat that you saw us on a couple of videos ago. They're in the Sillies too, and it looks like they're making the same decision as us to leave the Sillies before the weather gets too bad. Have you had a good time? Yeah. Weather's been amazing, hasn't it? Well, as it happens, the weather right this second doesn't look particularly terrible, but it is going to look terrible later by all accounts. And then we've got electrical storms, we've got strong northerly winds, all the reasons not to hang around in the silly. I hope I like to think that we've learnt our lesson from last year. We had our behinds whipped and we were humbled slightly. It's nice to see the Dad's Cat crew have had a nice time out in the Sillies as well. Just amazing weather for a few days. And uh, yeah, I imagine they'll be back in harbour yeah, about five hours before we are, probably. All right, let's keep an eye out for these lobster pots. It's actually quite a pleasant evening. Not a huge amount of wind for sailing, truth be told, although we've got them up, we're pushing on, but we are leaving paradise. We have left the Isles of Scilly and we're on our way to take some refuge from the weather that's coming, uh, but there are so many coves and anchorages and little nooks and crannies that we've spotted around here on the charts that we haven't been to explore yet. So many places to spearfish, to hunt, to forage, to gather, just to exist in and enjoy. And we're gonna take you guys with us, so 
almost the next chapter. Looks like the wind has died off again, so we're nearly there now. Begrudgingly, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. So after a fairly uneventful trip from the Isles of Scilly, we've come to take refuge in a river to wait out a little bit of bad weather. You know the weather doesn't look too bad right now, but this is, by all accounts, the calm before the storm. Chance would have it, a couple of familiar faces were already waiting in the anchorage for us. You guys coming for a walk? Yep. Amazing. <coughs> that's why you're excited, isn't it? No. You know, look at the tail. Look at the tail. That's pure bliss and joy right there. All right. Let's go get ourselves sorted. Although when two boys of a 1980s vintage find themselves with similar gadgets, well, there's only one thing for it. So we've got e-propulsion 1.0 plus. I don't know what the plus is all about, right? He's got a little, some little secret. He's got a little secret sauce up his sleeve. <laughs> and we have the first iteration, I think, of the torpedo. So, are you ready? Are we set? Let's go, brother, baby! Darcy, plan is working. Head down, get your head down, there's too much windage on the boat! <laughs> Sounds like someone is having a good time in there. Let's go see what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? Just making a little something that I think um, people of an 80s, 90s vintage who are into gaming are, are gonna appreciate. <laughs> Every now and then I like to do this, this is like my signature. I give like nods to movies that were influential or chapters in 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 our time that were influential. I think it's good to just splash them in. No, okay. <laughs> well, while I've got you guys here, I just want to say a huge thank you to all the people who have supported us through the Run button, through Patreon, and through the Super Thanks button on YouTube, um, who are all here. Thank you so very, very much. On that, on that too, um, I just I just want to say, I know it's a bit of a cliche to say these videos are made possible by you. We'd, we'd probably be making them anyway, but what is made possible by you guys that have been so incredibly generous is we've been able to turn off the ads during the videos. We never used to, we used to have as many ads on as we could. Um, but we're not, just, we're not just YouTube creators, we're more so YouTube consumers. We watch loads of videos for entertainment, to learn, just to be inspired by people. And I've always noticed that once you get into the flow, there's just a Visa MasterCard advert just stuffed in halfway through, and it just kind of takes the edge off of it for me. So when more and more of you started supporting us through the Patreon, through the Run button, and the, just the super thanks was amazing, um, 
it just really enabled us to turn those off. And all season we've had those mid-roll ads turned off. And as tempting as it is always to hit that button and turn them back on, because it can double or even triple your YouTube revenue, again, thanks to you guys, we don't have to. And that's made the viewing experience, I hope, as good as we can possibly make it. So, thank you. And then it was time for me to head off into the dinghy in search of fresh meat. Sadly, the GoPro Bratchfree died just before I was lucky enough to harvest this remarkable, and a first for me, red mullet. Back to another instalment of Meal of the Day. I feel like it's been a while since we've done a Meal of the Day, but we've got some new stuff which we haven't cooked in a while. The first one is Goatfish, aka AKA, AKA Red Mullet. We also found a couple of scallops too. So Carly has found, let's go see, Carly has found a recipe online which mixes those two key ingredients. Is sure that right? does. You obviously got the red mullet, lemon courgettes, pesto, fish stock. A little bit of oil in there. Finishing off that one. Cheers. Cheers. So the courgettes were just blanched and then like sauteed in a bit of butter and seasoning. That's a good one. Do you like the look of that one? Yeah, I love the look of that one. Okay. Oh, I love the look of the colour on the top. That is a Michelin star. <laughs> I don't know what it is. None. I don't Thank know which you. bit to eat first. I feel like well, I. Need... You meant to eat a bit of everything, I, I think. I know you are, but I've not tried red mullet before. So let's give that a go. So you do that. Red mullet's good. It's meant to be super tasty. Yeah, no, it is good actually. <laughs> <laughs> the good old scallop. so good. <laughs> right, let's have a bit of mullet. Let's have a little bit of scallop. Let's have a little bit of, uh, what's the sauce called? Veloute. A veloute. It's a little veloute. Oh, Hank's liking the look. look someone's yeah. creeping into the background there. <laughs> okay. So we've got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Oh. 
Is it good? Oh, it's so good. I'm so keen to tuck in. Okay. Stop filming. I don't want yours to go cold though. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, let's get a bit of everything as well. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good job. I'm proud of that one. <laughs>